Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about using different strategies to solve for the unknown in simple equations involving one or more operations on whole numbers and fractions. How to solve an equation? Solving an equation means to find the value of the variable which will make the equality statement true. A basic technique in solving equations is to place the variable on one side of the equation. However, some equations have more than one variable term, one on each side, such as 4c plus 17 is equal to 6c plus 5. To solve such equations, we must combine the variables and the terms to make it as a single term before we can truly find the value of the variable. Before we're going to solve an equation, we're going to study the properties of equality. The first property is addition property of equality. If two expressions are equal to each other and you add the same value to both sides of the equation, the equation will remain equal. Take note to add the same number on both sides or subtract the same number on both sides. The next property is multiplication property of equality. When you divide or multiply both sides of an equation, by the same quantity, you still have equality. Remember, to multiply the same number on both sides or divide the same number on both sides. Solve for the unknown. 4a minus 5 is equal to 2a plus 7. How we can solve this? First is we're going to write the equation. We need to combine like terms. So, observe the equation. What are the like terms? Alright, 4a and 2a are like terms. They both have a literal coefficient of a. And also, negative 5 and positive 7 are like terms. They are all constant. We need to combine the like terms in one side of the equation. How we can do it? By using the addition property of equality, we can add the additive inverse of a number, both sides of the equation, to make it balanced. So, we're going to add 5 from both sides of the equation. So, minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 0, or we can cancel this. Then, 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. The remaining items are 4a is equal to 2a plus 12. Next is we're going to eliminate 2a from the right side. What shall we do? We're going to subtract 2a from both sides of the equation. 4a minus 2a is equal to 2a. How it comes? 4 minus 2, the answer is equal to 2. And just copy the literal coefficient, which is a. So 4a minus 2a is equal to 2a. Then, here, to the right side, 2a minus 2a is cancelled or 0. And the remaining item is 12. Next is, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 2 to find the value of a. So, 2a divided by 2, or we can cancel 2 over 2, the remaining item is a. Then, 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. The answer to the unknown, which is a, is equal to 6. This is our final answer. We're going to use the same equation. This time, I'm going to teach you other solution. 
Since our purpose is to combine like terms, we can do it directly. We are going to transpose 2a to the left side and minus 5 to the right side. But always remember that if you pass this equation sign, the sign of the numbers will be changed. So, from positive 2a, it becomes negative 2a. And from negative 5, it becomes positive 5 to the other side of the equation. Then, this is the time that we're going to combine like terms. 4a minus 2a. So here, all we need to do is we're going to subtract the numerical coefficient of a, which is 4 and 2. 4 minus 2, the answer is equal to 2. Then just copy the lateral coefficient, which is a. So 4a minus 2a is equal to 2a and combined 7 and 5. And the answer is equal to 12. To get the value of a, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. 2a divided by 2 is equal to a, and 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. Therefore, the value of our unknown, which is a, is equal to 6. Okay, we are going to try to check if our answer is correct or not. We're going to use the original equation. But this time, we're going to substitute the value of a. So, 4 times 6 minus 5 is equal to 2 times 6 plus 7. 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Bring down minus 5 is equal to 2 times 6 is equal to 12. Bring down plus 7. 24 minus 5 is equal to 19. And 12 plus 7 is equal to 19 also. Therefore, our equation is balanced and the value of our unknown, which is 6, is correct. Another example. How to solve this? First is we're going to write the equation. Subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. So 7x plus 8 minus 8 is equal to 3x plus 12 minus 8. So, 8 minus 8 is equal to 0, and 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. The remaining items are 7x is equal to 3x plus 4. Next is we're going to subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. So, 7x minus 3x is equal to 3x minus 3x plus 4. The remaining items are... 4x is equal to 4. Next is we're going to divide 4 from both sides of the equation. So, 4x divided by 4 is equal to x. And 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Therefore, the value of the unknown is equal to 1. We're going to use the same equation. But this time, we're going to use other solution. So, we're going to transpose 3x to the other side of the equation and it becomes negative 3x because it passes through the equation sign. And positive 8 to the other side of the equation and it becomes negative 8. So, 7x minus 3x is equal to 12 minus 8. 7 minus 3 is equal to 4, just copy x, and our answer is equal to 4x, 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. Next is we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 4 to find the value of x. So 4x divided by 4 is equal to x, and 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. This is our final answer. So let's try to check if our answer is correct or not. We're going to use the original equation, but this time, we're going to use the value of x. So, 7 times 1 plus 8 is equal to 3 times 1 plus 12. 7 times 1 is equal to 7, just bring down plus 8, is equal to 3 times 1 is equal to 3, just bring down plus 12. Then, let's add 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. 
and 3 plus 12 is equal to 15. Therefore, our equation is balanced, then the value of x is correct. We have another example. b over 2 plus 8 is equal to 9. Here, we're going to find the value of b, but in this example, we have a denominator of 2. So first is, we're going to eliminate 2. How we're going to do that? We're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So, we're going to multiply 2 in every term of the equation. 2 times b over 2, 2 times 8, and 2 times 9. So, we're going to start from 2 times b over 2. 2 times b is equal to 2b. We're going to combine the number and the letter. Then, divided by 2, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, or the remaining item here in this term is b. Then, we're going to copy plus, then just multiply 2 times 8 is equal to 16, then copy the equation sign, 2 times 9 is equal to 18. Next is, we're going to combine like terms. So, we're going to transpose positive 16 to the right side and it becomes negative 16. So, b is equal to 18 minus 16. Then, let's subtract and b is equal to 2. This is our final answer. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.